Okay, I park over here for a reason. The white truck is mine. Why would you put your fucking motor right by my goddamn bed? All right, welcome back to the Lockout Man podcast show. Thank you very much. If you guys like what we do over here, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button to show support for the channel. Let's just jump right into it. Today, we are breaking truckers today. And in this segment of breaking truckers, we're breaking avon 2007 shout out to my guy d bonds for sending me this clip of this young lady complaining about another trucker pulling up on the side of her with his loud engine i guess i'm not sure if it was the i'm not sure if it was the loudness of the engine or maybe he had a reefer unit that was that was on throughout the night this young lady in this clip says that she's upset. She don't understand why some truck drivers don't have no courtesy. Like, why would you pull up on the side of her, on the side of her where she sleeps in her bunk area with your engine revving throughout the night? Okay, I park over here for a reason. The white truck is mine. Why would you put your fucking motor right by my goddamn bed? Look lady I, I don't know how long you've been driving but this is this is the life this is the life that you chose this is the this is where we go to sleep in areas that we might not be comfortable in i mean there's been plenty of nights that i was parked next to a truck that didn't turn this engine off because it was either hot or cold you just got to get used to it you just got to get used to it. And if you're not used to it, and if there's another parking space available away from the noise, which nine times out of 10 is not, then you're just going to have to go over there and, and, and go in that area. But you're not going to get no peace and quiet in trucking. You're just not, especially at a truck stop. About 90% of the trucks, their motors, their engines is running throughout the night. And some of the guys in the comment session, I do agree with them. The one guy says, come on, crybaby. Trucking is not for you. I mean, if you can't get used to outside noise while you're trying to sleep, I'm going to have to agree with him. Trucking is just not for you. You know, I, I, to be honest with you, I'm just thinking that, you know, you just being a little bit extra, <laughs> you know. You just being a little bit extra. I, I cannot believe that you made a TikTok uh, complaining about the noise from engines from other trucks that's parked next to you. Again, like I said, I'm not sure whether or not you're new to the industry or whatever the case, but I don't know. Let's get it. Hold on. All right, y'all. Update. Before we get into the clip. So I went back into my message so I can go ahead and finish reading the comments. And I noticed that the video, the initial video, poof, is gone. I'm over here like, yo, where, where's the video? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I went back on her channel and here's a major update. She got so much backlash off that video that she took it down. Yes, she took it down. It is nowhere to be found on her channel. Hold on. Okay, I park over here for a reason. The white truck is mine. Why would you put your fucking motor right by my goddamn bed? I moved the truck up some, but my truck was further back. I mean, why would you put your motor right beside the bed that I got to sleep in? That don't make no fucking sense. I wish truck drivers would realize that shit fucked up. Stupid. Oh, jackass move when he saw me filming his ass. He know this shit was going on TikTok. Fucking dummy. I hope he thought he was finna get some action because that was out. Completely out. He would have got some of that in his face or some bear spray or whatever else I got packing up in here because I do carry. I do. I park on the side here because I don't want to wake up in the morning staring at somebody's damn face as soon as I get in the driver's seat. Anybody want to look in your damn face as soon as they get up? Tell me you don't know how truck parking works without telling me you don't know how truck parking works. I am just, just 
lost for words. If a trucker needs to shut down and you see that he can park beside you, he's gonna park there. It's a truck stop, right? You're gonna get miserable for that. Make just make it make sense. Alright, truck truck drivers like you, go and park on the ramp. You will be the only person there. Since you carry, alright, go park on the ramp. <laughs> Well, if that's the case, if if that's the case, little lady, like I said, trucking is just isn't for you. You know what I'm saying? If if you feel that, you know, you don't want to get in the driver's seat and you see somebody, you know, in the next truck over and all like that, then you need to park somewhere. Probably you might want to just park somewhere where you can, you know, feel comfortable. All right. I get it. But if you're parking at a truck stop, or any other major truck stops, you're not going to get that. You're not going to get that. You're not going to get that. I understand there's a level of privacy that you're looking for. And if that's the case, then that privacy should be close your curtains. And then you won't have to worry about seeing nobody looking at you when you're in the driver's seat. When you wake up in the morning. <laughs> <sighs> again uh you you if you want if if you want absolute quiet then you you probably might want to go ahead and break out that trucker's path and see if there's a dirt lot or something like that that you could park at and you won't even have to worry about the noise but if you're coming over to the truck stops let me know what you guys think about that we breaking truckers today we broke avon 2002 you can go over there and find her on tiktok avon if you are a truck driver you know if you if you're the female truck driver that's in this clip i would love to know what you would think I would love to hear your story. Reach out to the Lockout Man podcast show and let's get it in. Let's get it in. Until next time, everybody, stay tuned for the next segment of Breaking Truckers.